as well in a week too. Um, again, just making this little video as an overview of what to expect for this week. Uh, we are almost halfway through the course. So next week is kind of that halfway point. So I will, there will be an exam next week. Don't freak out, it's not a big deal. Um, exams really are only I think 5% of your final grade. So I want you to kind of go over the lecture material, go over the discussion material, because that's what your um, exam will be on. It'll be multiple choice, true and false, and fill in the blank. So as long as you're kind of reading through all of the information, um, and it seems that most of you are, because you're getting you know the basic setup and um, you guys are all involved in the discussion, so I know that you're actively going through the lecture material and watching the videos. This week um, you have an article to read, so it's a little bit different, but um, next week there will be a short exam and then, yeah, it'll just be on all the material that you guys have been given thus far in both the lectures and the discussions. So, um, you know, just be prepared. If you have questions, you can reach out to me, you can email me and I'll get back to you with, with any questions that you have. Um, as far as this week, we have a lecture video on CMYK and offset printing. So um, if you've had me before, I try to go over the difference between CMYK and RGB, right? So CMYK is the color mode that you pick when you're printing something because it has cyan, magenta, yellow, black, or key, um, and then RGB is for all digital materials, so web design and um, social media accounts, all that kind of stuff that will be on screen only. So um, so this week is all about CMYK as it pertains to printing, um, and then the printing process and offset printing. So um, it contains a lot of information, so there's a lot of information. You might have to watch it a few times. Um, but it's all very important information and there are things that you should know, um, especially if you're going into, you know, a print design job. So if you're printing newsletters or magazines or advertisements or anything like that, you want to make sure you're, you know, aware of the printing process because it's how it will finalize your design. Um, and then this week's discussion is also about setting up and, um, pre-press preparation for your files. So it's all about how to set up your files so that they will come out the way that you want them to when they get printed um, as the final step of your process, um, design process. So it's all very useful information and things that you should know, especially if you're sending things to a printer, um, how to send them, what file types to send them. Um, we've gone over, you know, your bleeds and your crop marks, things like that. Um, so it's all things that kind of go into what we've already talked about. It's just a little further in depth. Um, your newsletter submission this week is going to be a final layout. So, um, so you do your final layout and then you can start kind of placing your images where you want them to be. I want you to really go into um, researching different fonts as, you know, different fonts have different personalities and your newsletter, you know, whether it be a tropical newsletter or, you know, a hiking newsletter or maybe it's, you know, um, a design type newsletter, they all kind of have different feels, you know, when you're designing things. So your text, your font choices are all going to be different. Um, so I really want you to kind of research it and make sure that your font choices fit with the design type that you're making. Okay. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this week. Actually, your weekly assignment, you have your letterhead design this week. So last week you guys did your business cards and they came out awesome. I loved all of them. They were great. Um, so this week you'll be designing a letterhead. So like eight and a half by 11 standard sheet of paper letterhead design that goes with your business card. So this is kind of like working towards brand identity, making things just different designs for, you know, different design types work together as a cohesive family unit. Um, so you would look at a newsletter or a um, letterhead and you would look at the business card and know that they go together, right? Um, so how do you do that? Look at the different 
fonts that you used, your color choices, your kind of layout, right? So have fun with it. Try to be a little bit creative. Um, and again, if you have any questions, please reach out to me and I will gladly help you with anything, but you guys are all doing awesome. Um, you're all very active in the course and I couldn't be happier with, you know, the results that we're getting so far. So keep up the good work. Um, yeah. And I will chat with you all soon. So, uh, enjoy the week and please reach out with any questions. Uh, and I think that's it. All right. Bye guys.